to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So today we're doing another video in atomic structure and electron configuration. So let's get started. Bam! All right, so electron configuration, orbital box diagram, and quantum numbers for uranium-92. That is uranium-92. This is the heaviest element that is naturally occurring in the universe. Okay, everything past uranium, that is past Z of 92, that is Z of 93, that is Neptunium and above, plutonium, etc. All those are man-made. Okay, all right. So we're going to do the electron configuration for uranium using the noble gas notation. So make sure you got the right noble gas and we're going to get the noble gas notation for uranium. That is radon, baby. And 7s2, 61, 5f3. Okay, we're going to write this another way, and we're also going to get the number of valence electrons, okay? So valence electrons, think about how many you got there. That's the largest quantum number, S and P orbitals only. And then also we're going to rewrite this with the, um, the lowest energy electrons closer to the nucleus, and that is closer to the noble gas, okay? So this is the noble gas notation. This is the other way of writing it, which is the order of filling. That is radon with the 5F3 because the 5 is lower than the 6. And then 61 and then the 6 is lower than the 7, so that's why it's interior. And the exterior, the outermost electrons, are in the 7S2. And the 7S2 are most certainly your valence electrons. That would be 2. And again, uranium is in the boot. So how many boots do you wear? You got two boots. These boots are made for walking, and walking they will do. So think about that. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do this again a little bit more with electrons. Okay, we're going to do one and then two. And then we got a 61, so we got only one electron here. Then we got a 5F3. One, two, three. Bam, we're done with that. Okay, remember, we got our valence electrons, and this is paramagnetic because it has unpaired electrons, so it's attracted to a magnetic field. There's our valence electrons, paramagnetism. Hopefully this is like, by the time we're... You're seeing this video, you've seen so many of these that you're like, bam, bam, bam. Okay, one more here, and that is we're going to circle an electron. We're going to get a set of four quantum numbers, N, L, M sub L, M sub S, for that particular electron that's circled in the blue there. So the N value is the 5 in the 5F. So N of 5, okay? And then the L value is the type of orbital. Remember, S is a 0 P is a 1, D is a 2, F is a 3, this is a 3. So the L value is a 3. Okay, the M sub L value is the orbital box in which it is in, the 3D orientation. So the middle box is a 0. To the right of that are 1, 2, 3. To the left of the 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. This happens to be in the box negative 3. So the M sub L is negative 3. This is an upward facing arrow, that's towards heaven, and that's got to be a good thing. So that's why this M sub S value is positive, and it's a positive one half. And there are the set of four quantum numbers to represent that circled electron right over there. Hopefully that works out for you. Man, that looks good to me. Okay, all right. I'm feeling kind of animalistic. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you like that video. Subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye now.